I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of scratch. The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. It could not be opened on the side. writing was affecting reality. It's you, following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods, pretending to be a secret society. Or maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet, blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the Lost Film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the Nightless Night, you will finally see. Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Zane's lamp on the screen had no light. I could transfer the light in my lamp to his. The light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. He was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. Wake. Wake. 
Wait. Wait. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. I don't think they're gonna want us to, like, cut off a finger or something? For this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down at the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Alan, it's good to see another sane face. Not sure how sane I'm feeling. Be careful out there, Tim. If you see me, make sure it's really me. Not some psycho wearing my face. Sounds like you've been having a rough go. I've been there. The missing time. The aliens. 
missing time. It's the same thing I've been saying. The dreams. Sometimes I wake up in a completely different place missing entire days. I have no idea what happened, but I'm trying to find out. Things always get better if you just keep moving forward, Alan. Wait, what's this about aliens? Oh, uh, I was just convinced that everything going on with me was because of aliens. Abductions, signals beamed into my head, that kind of thing. Now I know it's been Dor all along. I haven't ruled out him being an alien, though. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth, where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I'd find the murder site?
Mark. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. <laughs> 